our heels have been screwed on with these screws here, right? And they're not going to come off. So what we're going to do next is um, apply this rubber, for which I have this, which is like a slab of rubber. I think it's about four millimeters thick. Um, and we're going to mark our sole part on it and our heel part, and then we're going to cut that out. Um, to ensure that this holds, I'm going to apply two layers of glue. Um, what that means is that I'm going to uh, put a layer of glue, as we always do, and then I'm going to let that dry for like 15 minutes or so, and then I'm going to put a second layer, and that will make for a stronger fusion. Time for a second layer of glue. <coughs> so, with our second layer of glue in place, all we have to do now is glue. Put the pieces together, press. Those are my two heels done. Now the heel is flat, the front is a bit curved, so it's a bit trickier um, to glue these, but don't despair. I use this um, sort of cushion-like material. It helps to distribute the pressure, so rather than Pressing on a few points, it sort of balances it out. I have finished gluing on um, all of our rubber, both on the heel as here at the front. Um, sometimes people like to put in little nails here, so you can nail this rubber to your heel because you get the, the room for it, put in a short nail. Um, I'm not going to do that because uh, let's first see how well this glue will hold. We can always do it later. Um, the only thing that's left to do is to um, pass this by the belt sander. Um, this edge here and then also here we're going to um, sand this down a little bit so that there's no no ridge there so we already have a little bit that is the leather we're going to make that a little bit sloped um, and then our shoes are done <laughs> 